60 second book review of The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. So, so somewhere along the line, I missed the memo that this is a horror novel. I read it because the reviews were great and everyone said it was one of the must read books. So I read it. The reason I don't read horror novels is because I end up dreaming about them at night and usually the dreams are very specific to whatever is happening to the characters in the book and that totally happened with this book. So I had a few nights where I had some dreams that are disturbing. However, this is a very good book. It is suspenseful. It reminds me of Stephen King. Um, for like the first third of it, it just seems like the person who you think is the main character, there's a couple of main characters, but it starts out deceptively. So you think there's one main character and you think he's kind of going crazy. And then there's a thing that happens on page 115, actually two things in a row that happen that literally caused me to gasp and change the entire trajectory of the book. I didn't see it coming. It was really um, unexpected and it's kind of supernatural. There's a lot of Indian folklore in the book and um, the characters are so interesting. The story is interesting, so it's really great. I'm just warning you, if you're like me and you're not really into horror books, I'm not sure this is the best pick for you because if you're like me and you end up dreaming, <laughs> and having nightmares about stuff that happened to characters that are not real, then you might want to skip it. If you're into horror novels, this is a good read. I'm giving it four stars for The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones.